Jason Munyon and the one loss Sheridan Generals handed the Philo Electrics their third loss of the season on Friday in this highly anticipated MVL matchup. Sheridan is known for their bruising tailback, but early in this one, Andrew Holden splits the safeties through the air from quarterback Reed Packer to put the Generals up a touchdown early. We move to the second quarter as the Electrics march right back down the field, capped off by a 12-yard Carter McCutcheon touchdown run to even this one up. Later in the quarter on fourth down and goal from the Philo 13, Caden Sheridan drops a dime to Corey Amsbaugh as the Generals go back on top. Philo quarterback Owen Smith was making plays the whole night for the Electrics as we see him find his way into the end zone on this 16-yard run to tie the game at 14 apiece at the end of the first half. The Sheridan special teams comes up big in the third quarter as they block the Philo punt in Electric territory. Coming off of the block, the Generals take a shot off play action as Caden Sheridan finds his receiver over the electric defense for a 40-yard touchdown. Once the Generals got up a score in the second half, they would turn to their big back who they've leaned on all year long. On this play in the third quarter, Munyon barrels his way into the end zone to extend the Sheridan lead to two scores in the second half. The Generals would feed Munyon as the Gridiron Glory Player of the Year candidate finished the night with 17 rushes for 157 yards on the ground. Sheridan would go on to take this one 32-21. Sheridan will host Tri-Valley next week in a monster MVL matchup with major playoff implications. As for Philo, they have an amazing bounce back opportunity next week as they travel to John Glenn. Reporting for Gridiron Glory, I'm Cameron Young.